Ladies, why don't you just tell us, just tell us you're in control. The first couple of years of the relationship, remember when they agreed with us? You remember that? Think back in your relationship when she just agreed to everything. You want to watch that movie? That's fine. I think you have great taste in movies. <laughs> you want to watch Godzilla? The 1998 Godzilla. Even I know it's not good. I'm high. If you want to watch football or play video games, I'll just sit on the couch and not talk to you. Really, you're not going to talk to me. Mm -mm. I got my book. I'll just sit and read my book. <laughs> oh, Mr. Gray. <laughs> if you, you want me to suck your dick, I'll do it in front of your family. I don't care. Whatever. <laughs> it's for you. I'm here for you. Okay, well, this feels like a trap. <laughs> but I'm too horny and dumb to give a shit. So, all right, come on. Everybody get in here. She said she'd do it. Yeah, the young ones, too, they need to learn. Because you know when you do that, you know that we're going to go back to our friends and our family and be like, she's the one. <laughs> Dude, she's the one. She does everything that I say. She does everything that I want. I'm going to marry this girl. And that's when your ladies are like, fuck it. Ah, this is who I really am. And I ain't doing any of that shit anymore. Like, whoa. Whoa. Do I still get blowjobs? What happened? Is some get clogged? Why are you wearing my sweatpants? <laughs> Ladies attack like crocodiles. That's not fair. That's how patient you are. You ever see a crocodile attack its prey? You don't run at it. You got tiny little legs and we'd always get away. So what do you do? You blend into the water so we don't even know that you're there with just your eyes poking out the top. Just. And guys are unsuspecting wildebeest just coming to get a drink. Like. Um, is it okay if I drink here? You do whatever you want, buddy. <laughs> you can do whatever you want. And if you come into the deep end, there's fresher water and blowjobs, like what? <laughs> I didn't even know water could do that. I'm jumping in head first and you ladies are like, good. And then you drag us down into the bottom, you rip our spine out, then you just death roll on us every day after that moment. You death roll on us. You're gonna have another beer, you death roll on us. You should have been manager by now and you death roll on us. And you death roll on us and you death roll on us until we're fucking dead. So I might marry her, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Who knows? I don't fucking know. I don't wanna be I don't wanna be single either. Single guys. I love my girlfriend. But uh, all my horny single friends, like I was at a guy's night recently. I'm not doing that anymore. <laughs> I'm not doing that anymore. I can't do it. I see single horny guys drunk. I understand why women carry rape whistles and mace. I get it. I get it. It makes sense. Guys in tight shirts shoving each other. Oh, sex? You want to have sex? Sex with me? Like, why would she do that? That's a horrible pickup line. Take it easy, Bill Cosby. <laughs> Ooh. Getting topical. That's a problem, too, guys. We rile each other up, and then we don't bring each other back down. That's the problem. We forget our place in society. <laughs> it's like you're part of the football team all of a sudden. Every guy's night starts out with a, with a general, someone to hype us up. He goes, all right, tonight, guys, we're going to get some beer, and we're going to get some pussy. And everyone in the group is like, yeah! Beer and pussy, beer and pussy, beer and pussy, beer and pussy. Even me, 
I know I'm not getting any pussy, but for some reason, I'm behind him going, pussy, 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 pussy. So horny, retarded train going out the goddamn door. <laughs> and then we come home drunk with erections just staring at each other. 